OBS version 29 added a three band equalizer. This allows you to adjust the audio of different sound sources. In this case, I'm going to use it to change how this microphone sounds, which is the HyperX Duocast. So to get the most out of this equalizer, first you're gonna to wanna to set up mic monitoring. And you'll need a headset or headphones in order to get this to work. This is an optional step. So I'll have a time step to the next step if you just want to go straight to that. So first make sure that in Windows settings, you've got whatever devices you're going to be listening to set as your default device. So right here, HyperX Cloud 3, that's what I'm listening to. Now in OBS where it says mic slash aux, select your microphone. In this case, it'll be the HyperX Duocast. So properties, HyperX Duocast is what I'm using. Then OK. Next on these three dots, advanced audio properties. Now scroll down to the microphone that you'll be using, mic slash aux. I have this on a delay just so it's synced up with the video. Don't worry about that. Monitoring is off. So I'll scroll down to where it says monitor and output. And as soon as you press that, you should be able to hear your own voice in your headphones. And this is gonna be extremely useful. Now, if you don't hear your voice, here is an easy solution. Click close, then file settings or wherever settings happens to be audio scroll down to advanced and where it says monitoring device default click that change to whatever device that you're actually listening to so if it's headphones using a 3.5 millimeter cable it could be in like high definition audio device and if you don't see your device uh, you can actually scroll down even though it's hard to see in my case it's at the bottom headphones hyperx cloud 3 Click that and then you should hear it. Alternatively, you can actually click any other device and then go to default and it should work when you press apply and then okay. Now, once you have mic monitoring on, this is how your voice will sound exactly through OBS. So now mic and aux, click the three dots, filters. And now if it doesn't already say three band equalizer, then you can add that and then it's at the top, three band equalizer. Now click that. Now these are all at zero DB. If you don't know what an equalizer is really quickly, it just changes the proportions of the different frequencies. So it's easier to just demonstrate for you. If I have a voice where like in my case, I think it's too sibilant, the S's are too harsh. Those are high sounds like glass shattering, things like that, those are highs. You can lower those or you can raise them and just this is a ear warning for you that it's gonna be really sibilant. This will make the S sounds, she sells seashells by the seashore really harsh if you increase this and also this is going up by decibels db so you can look at this bar at the bottom you don't want this to start peaking or get too high but if you raise it too much then it can get closer to peaking anyway let's drop that back down we don't want to go too much above zero or too below zeros because we don't want like a lot of distortion the mid-range is just human vocals just like not too much in the like piercing highs but not too much like body and fullness so if i drop this down i kind of like will fall back in the mix if you have like music but this will make your voice like a little bit more airy more open more prominent in the mix if you have like gameplay or music or something like that but it also makes it look kind of kind of boxy like the sounds coming from like all around you from like a close range that's the mid range and i'll dip this back down and the low is going to be that bass that body and this will get that kind of like if you want to replicate like the sure sm7b or something like that but you don't have that mic this is what you can do again you don't want to boost too much up here because this is making it get close to peaking and if we drop this down then we have like a thinner of a sound and if you have like too much bass in your voice and you don't want that you can do that so personally this is one of those things where there's not like a correct answer like you want oh uh, you're gonna go with the 6.4 decibels in the low end no this is a uh, artistic choice for the most part and this is why i suggest using mic monitoring because you can just kind of do this by ear i like the bass a little bit more prominent i don't like the highs too harsh and i don't like my voice to like fall back in the mix too much so i keep the mids just a little bit boosted or i'll just keep them exactly as they are now you don't want it this too high it'll get just really muffled and it's unpleasant to listen to especially if you have bass heavy headphones you don't want this too like low because you have a really like thin voice and it just doesn't sound that great especially if you have like a sibling device like the like a headset from steel series anyway at any time if you think you messed up set this back to default and they'll zero out you can also combine this with other filters like noise suppression so i'm going to show you how amazing you can make your voice sound even with like a kind of harsh or a sibilant mic like the hyperx duocast this is with no filters on you can hear that PC fan, the S's are a little bit too shrill, but now I turn this three band equalizer on, all of a sudden my voice is a lot more rich, more warm, but that computer fan is still really annoying. So I'll go over to here, noise suppression, RN noise is what I'm using. Turn this on, 
and now all of a sudden you just don't hear those background noises as much my voice is coming through nice full warm rich and that's how you use the three band equalizer in obs